it is Halloween weekend and unlike some of your peers you will not be hitting those Halloween streets totes get it now you can have a wonderfully spooky evening all by yourself <laughs> and sometimes isn't that better <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my now nicheless channel. It's me, Suzetta, and simply, 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 I am here to entertain, darling. However, if you can laugh from it, if you can learn from it, if you can grow from it or groove to it, if you're inspired at all, that's good with me. So, on to the video. So girl, I had plans. I had big plans. October 1st, I had plans to have about 15 costumes, about four parties I was gonna go to. It's going to be epic. That's how I felt October 1st. Um, none of those things happened and actually I have a half of a costume that I kind of found in my closet. It might be an Adams Family Morticia type of thing. Most likely no. Moral of the story, old habits die hard. But if you are actually in need of some last minute costume ideas I do have a video that I did on ways to do that and um, that'll help you if you need it take it if you need it take it if you need it now pretty sure this I'm gonna be in the house this holiday weekend which is fine it's like raining right now it's given really spooky vibes for me without being scary because there's a difference between spooky and scary and I don't care if you say different I think I think I would know as I said what I said as and always. I'm not changing on it okay because I like spooky and I don't like scary mm. and so the first thing I'm gonna do to get into costume which this evening will be comfortable homebody vampire ghost twilight style so pretty much i just look gorgeous until i get out into the sun um and then i shin shimmy shine which is true for me most of the time halloween movie night for your style not everyone likes the same kind of halloween movies okay let's start there so this list you have your gory style halloween movies your paranormal style Halloween movies, Isabel, or paranormal activity, you know, Ouija, all that ugh, stuff. Obviously, I'm not a fan. You have suspense style, um, scary movies. Well, I guess suspense is always in there, but you know when there's like an emphasis on suspense? Come on, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Then you have the creepy style that's just like, what is this? And then you have the light and airy and cute. They're giving hocus pocus vibes, that type of thing. We could go on, this would be a three hour, four hour video to get into every single type. We're gonna keep it simple, give you a guideline. Let's say you wanna touch on all of these a little bit. Now for me personally, Paranormal Activity is out of my wheelhouse. You're just not getting me to watch an Annabelle or Paranormal Activity 17. I just feel like that, no, because that's scary. Mm. Me personally, when I'm gathering things up to put on my scary plate, I need, you know, um, some uh, a good a good amount of suspense as my base. I want it to have a good story. Give me some light and airy. Also, I wouldn't mind it. Just, you know, a dribble of creepy. Just a, just a dribble, not too much. And if you're going to put the paranormal in there, you better make it just essence of paranormal. Just an essence. Don't be putting too much in there. So my movie lists will be tailor fit to that style. But I also will have other things in there for you if that's your thing. Don't worry. Let me go ahead and change and then we can get into the next steps of our movie. Halloween weekend in the crib watching movies and that's fine. So I am moisturized in all my natural glory um it is what it is 
First thing, make sure you are comfy. You know, you're gonna be sitting down. Make, sh make sure you have all your snacks. Or get your unbroken fire stick. Get all your subscription based pay monthly in your ex's codes. Whatever we gotta do, we're gonna do that. It's a holiday weekend for like we deserve access to these movies. You know, I feel like you'll int intuitively know this, but you know there are, might be people who who are just you know there might be aliens. Who knows? So the first movie for this movie night, we're gonna start with Adam's Family. The Adam's Family one and two. It's campy, it's funny, dark humor, but it's still light. I mean, you can watch it with the lights off and you won't get scared. It's a classic. Thank you. This is Adam's Family. I shouldn't have to go too much farther into this because come on, it's the Adam's Family. Come on. Next, for all of you people who swear by this, I do not, don't shoot me, Hocus Pocus. Not my favorite. I know they're coming out with another one, a sequel, after like 50 years, but I've, I, I never, it was okay. It was okay. But it's good to add. It's like nostalgia based, really, at this point. Throw in Hocus, Hocus Pocus. So now we have Adam's Family, Hocus Pocus. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. The first kind of creepy movie we're gonna watch after this. So it's it's Coraline. Coraline is creepy, dog. It is, first of all, it's visually very nice. It's stop motion. I really love stop motion. Um, I think that's creepy in itself a little bit. <laughs> That does me. Coraline's genre is even family and horror based, okay? So it gets creepy. And the music, the music will get you, get you where you need to go. It is creepy. While exploring her new home, girl named Coraline, she's played by Dakota Fanning, discovers a secret door behind which lies an alternate world that closely mirrors her own, but in many ways is better. She rejoices in her discovery until her mother, Terry Hatcher, and the rest of her parallel family try to keep her there forever. Coraline must use all of her resources and bravery to make it back to her own family and life. It's a lot for a kid to go through, so check out Coraline if you haven't already. It is, it's good. It's spooky. It's spooky ukey. After this, it's getting scary now, okay? So bathroom breaks have to happen. I've already got mine lined up. If you need a refill on anything, already know what I'm gonna be eating. Make sure you eat something that doesn't send you straight to the bathroom because you're gonna miss the movie and you have to pause it and it's gonna take you off of your, take you out of the scary zone. <laughs> I'm just saying. I want you to have as good as a weekend as I'm gonna have, and we can't have you just running off to the bathroom every two seconds just because you decide to eat a buffalo bean burrito um, in the beginning of our next movie, which will be Sleepy Hollow. First of all, Tim Burton. Love him, hate him, whatever. He has a style, and his style is scary, creepy. The, the world that he creates is already very dark. So set in 1799, Sleepy Hollow is based on Washington Irving's classic tale, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. The Headless Horseman, okay. Faithful to the dreamy custom bound world that Irving paints in the story, the film mixes horror, fantasy, and romance. It features an extraordinary cast of characters that drabble in the supernatural. Johnny Depp is in it. So that's already nice. Christina Ricci, Christopher, Christopher Lloyd, Christopher Lloyd. Lloyd. Hey, I mean, I need more cowbell. Give me some cowbell. World is so dark, it keeps you in like that really scary um, mode. All right, next, Gothica. Gothica, Gothica, Gothica. Gothica was scary. I don't care what y'all say. Gothica, if y'all wasn't finding Gothica scary, it what, what were you watching? What were you watching? Holly Berry played the out of that, out of that daggone doctor with all that stuff going on. The life of a psychiatrist, Miranda Gray, played by Halle Berry, is derailed after she nearly hits a girl with her car one night. Later, Miranda wakes up in her own mental hospital. She's a psychiatrist at a mental institution under the care of her peer, P. 
Pete Graham, played by Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man. Completely disoriented, Miranda is accused of killing her own husband, but she has no memory of anything after she's encountered the girl. Slowly, Miranda begins to uncover what happened, but she has to escape the asylum to solve the mystery. Suspense that the, the world is dark, it's suspenseful. There's some paranormal, just a, a sprinkle of the paranormal, um, and it's creepy. It's a it, it gothica is good. So now we're gonna get into some honorable mentions that you can watch at your own risk, but I ain't doing it. I'm not doing it. The Ring. I saw The Ring when uh, the first came out in theaters. It was scary as AF. Even the concept of it, just just the concept of you know, and that whole. Uh-uh. Yeah, but you go ahead. Go ahead and watch it. Get in the dark. Have fun with that. I'm not going to give you a synopsis either. I'm just going to put it right there. You go check it out. Next, The Grudge. You go check it out. I saw it when it came out in theaters. It was scary. Just the idea of it all. <laughs> oh, I am scared. Oh, oh. You go look at The Grudge. You go look at the grudge. I'm not gonna explain it. You go, you explain it. If you're feeling froggy, do your thing. By the way, if you are enjoying this, do me a favor and give me a like. That helps me a lot. Also, consider subscribing. I am 55 subs strong. I love all of you guys and I appreciate you. So join the crew, join the vibes. We have good times here. I am on the road to 1,000 subscribers and just building a community of bomb ass people who enjoy living their best life, striving for greatness, and you know, funny shit. So, cause we're doing these tonight. So if we're doing this tonight, by this time you're getting sleepy. You're getting sleepy. And it's important when we're wrapping these things up, you don't wanna fall asleep on a scary movie. That to me is a rookie mistake for a scary cat like myself. I don't do that. So we're gonna throw in Casper. Casper, Casper, Casper. I mean, do I have to explain Casper? Casper the Friendly Ghost. I'm not going to explain this. You know Casper. Christina Ricci. I mean, every now and then. Very much so reminds me of Halloween. Um, friendly Ghost. And finally, the movie that I always go to sleep to, but it doesn't mean I don't love the movie, Nightmare Before Christmas. I play Nightmare Before Christmas in during Halloween and during Christmas time because, I mean, I feel like it fits both. And of course, you have the... This is Halloween, this is Halloween. And for me, by the time Jack Skeleton is singing, Oh, somewhere deep inside of these bones, I'm knocked out. I'm knocked out. It's a really good, good movie to watch if you can watch it all the way through, but also to fall asleep too. You won't be scared. Like, you won't be scared when you wake up. And plus, you're gonna be on Disney Plus by then, because that's probably where, she, where you're gonna be watching it. And then you're gonna wake up. If you do wake up, you're waking up in Disney Plus. So you could just put on, you know, you know, um, The Rescuers or something. So there are more movies, but this will set you up right. Add in the other ones as you see fit. But for me, that is my tried and true Halloween list to get me in the Halloween mood and also get me into a good space to be able to sleep because nightmares are real. Well, they seem real when you're in them. I don't like them. I don't want to have one. So, <laughs> so yep, that's it for me. That's my Halloween movie playlist that I'm going to be watching. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite Halloween movie, if I mention any of them, and what um, what are yours, and uh, like what genre do you like too. And also, follow me on my socials. Um, they're going to be listed below. I am active on TikTok and, of course, Instagram. So follow me on those two places. And, yeah, so, again, thank you all, my loves. I appreciate you guys. See you in the next one, and happy Halloween.